Well, I felt very free. I felt very free, um, uninhibited, um, not concerned about, um, not self-conscious. I felt very free, very, very much able to be myself. Um, and my curiosity continued. I wanted to know what in the world happened to me. I was very affectionate toward people. I wasn't overly because I'm not, I'm just not that way, but I noticed how, um, affectionate I was feeling toward people and how comfortable I was and, and hugging or putting my arms around people. And, and I wanted to know what, what happened. And the, I, I think I embarked on study. I think I embarked on, um, the, uh, a study of as much reading as I could do from the spiritual masters and teachers and, and re-reading those or reading them for the first time to, to, and I understood them in a deeper way. And I go, I know what they're talking about now. I really understand what they're talking about. So all those messages that you hear about going inward and on an inward journey and, and that inner guide inside, all of that I knew and I understood. And as a health educator, as my primary um, um, role that I play is I like to teach other people. And um, the, the, the funny thing about what I'm doing now is I've actually become a meditation teacher. Uh, yeah. And um, my, my new program, how I've, I've been able to put all my learnings together, is called um, Release the Wisdom of Your Inner Sage. Um, because I know that it's there. I know that it's in there. I know people can access it through a variety of technologies. I had a full-blown experience of feeling, experiencing it all in a, you know, um, a six to eight hour meditation session. I call it a meditation session. But for, you know, months afterward, I knew, and what had been chronicled in my journal, I knew that everything I needed to learn and know was within me. And so that's when I'm teaching others now as well.